it's DC Dollar Store Loot Day. Hooray! And I have a whole bunch of stuff to show you. I've been around my local dollar store and I found a bunch of stuff. These are the first things that I've found. They're called Versus Rip Spin Warriors. I don't even know what they are. I think it's kind of interesting that DC was like, yeah, you guys can have a license to use our characters to sell to little kids. I think it's because DC is aware that most of the people that buy their products are actually older folks like myself, and they're still trying to sell to kids. They're trying to break into that kid market. So these are definitely something that they would be trying to sell to little kids. So let's just open them up and see what the heck they are. They appear to be some sort of like a, a Beyblade type thing where you yank on it and they go kind of head to head, that kind of thing. So let's just open it up. This one's Superman, as you can see. Bye-bye packaging. And uh oh, stuff's already falling out. What is that? Is that his arm? Instructions, who needs instructions? Instructions are for sissies and people that smell bad. And pop it all down. All right, so maybe I should read the instructions. What the heck is going on? His head fell off right away. You stick it like that, and then this, it goes... Isn't he supposed to have an extra arm? Like, two arms? Why has he only got one? Hmm... Something doesn't seem right here. Where's the Superman's other arm? This is not his other arm. Oh! I have to read the instructions. I'll be back in a second. Alright, here it says... Let's see... Oh, this is just general instructions. Oh, I need to look at the actual package. Oh, I get it. One's an arm and one's a steel eye beam to beat someone over the head with. Got it. I understand now. Okay, so now that we got that all sorted out, I got the little yellow thing in there. Let's give it a yank. All right, then you put it down. Oh, there it goes off screen. Okay, so I get the gist of this. So let's take them all out of the package and then get them all ready and have a little spin battle with them, shall we? Here's Batman. Looking very Batman-ish. Grimacy, back of the package. That's what he's supposed to look like. Let's make sure that everything matches. There like that. There's Mr. Batman. All right. So I guess the idea is that Batman and Superman are gonna battle. And when their face falls off, whoever's face falls off is the loser. Seems pretty simple. That's almost close to real life, isn't it? How am I going to do this? Oh, how can I spin both? Okay, this is going to be... This is going to be kind of weird. All right. All right, hang on. Shit! Put you there. Shit! Oh, Batman, what are you doing? Superman! No, Batman's over here! Get... Yeah. You get the gist. They spin around and they, you know, bump into each other until one of their face goes and pops right off. And here we have Flash. So he has a tornado for an arm and a thunderbolt for the other arm. So you can see what I'm trying to do. You gotta pull it and they bang faces, right? And then one other face flies off. The problem is I can't pull them both at the same time. And I think you would probably need a stadium, like a Beyblade stadium to make this work best. But there's Flash, dump all of his stuff out. Yank his cord out. Huh. See, these are actually, they're pretty cool looking. Like, I'm not going to knock the design of these. These are actually a really neat looking toy. I'm a sucker for, like, most things DC. So, you know, when the dollar store had the DC Mighty Beans, I picked up, like, 15 packages of them. I've still got them somewhere. I don't even know what Mighty Beans are supposed to do, but I thought they were pretty cool. So, here's what we got. Here's all... Oh, what a mess. Here's all three of them right there. Superman, Batman, and Flash. Okay, on to the next thing. I would like to point out that I did pick up a Ninja Turtles Raphael version of it as well, but this isn't a Turtles video, so I'm not going to show you. Oh crap, I just did. Alright, next I picked up this pen. The Superman pen. Now this might seem like, oh it's just a pen, why are you showing us a pen? Because I don't have a Superman pen, and I kind of want one. So I picked that up, $1.25. Let's hope that this thing actually writes good. If it's one of those cheap pens that writes terrible, I'm going to be really upset and I was stupid enough to buy it just because it has a Superman logo on it. All right, let's just open up to a random page and try and draw something. I'm just gonna pen around the logo like that. Sorry, that's my Wookiee impersonation while I, while I draw. Ah, oh, the pen seems okay. Let's uh, go right around it. Let's actually press 
Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's a good quality pen. That's a good quality pen. For buck twenty-five, plastered in Superman and his logos. New 52 Superman, might I add, but that's not bad. I don't know if I'll use the pad much. I'd use that up in like five seconds, but so I got the pen as well. What else did I get? I got one of these. Now I got kids that are learning how to read, so this is perfect. I love this artwork. It is so, to me, this is the modern day version of what Jose Garcia Lopez's stuff would look like. Now I know Jose Garcia Lopez actually is still active and doing stuff for kids materials, but this would be like the modern equivalent to that kind of stuff. It's bright and simple to look at, but it's a reader. And it's a level three, that's all they have is a level three. But check out the artwork on the inside of this. It looks really, really good. And whenever I see stuff like this for my kids to learn how to read, I mean, I pick it up because this is just, this is just so cool that they have an opportunity, you know, to, to have this to learn how to read. And it's not like C spot, C spot run. You can see the Green Lantern and the Flash and Aquaman and Wonder Woman. No Batman in this one, I might say. It's kind of a bummer. I would have liked to see Batman in it, but hey, it's sold, and it's something that is a DC license, and it's sold without Batman on it. Whoa, how rare is that? Okay, I'm just kidding. The next item we have would be the big ticket item. This thing right here. Wait a minute. Let's move the camera. There we go. It's a, it's a tab app, Elite Superman Starter Pack. I don't even know what it is. I'm pretty sure you need an iPad, you know, to, to use it, but, you know, again, I'm a sucker for Superman, and it'll just go in my Superman collection of stuff. Let's try and open it up. Let's see what, let's see what, how, like, really, why is the packaging so big? Goodbye. So that's what, it wow, there's a lot of negative space in this package. They could have probably used less packaging to make this. All right. So, you get... The tab app piece of wow, that is a lot of packaging. That is a lot of packaging. I can't I can't get over that. And then you get this is cool. I like this. It's like a a hero clicks Superman. I think that that's that's really kind of neat. Hey, get out of the way, white thing. You're you're not letting me focus. There, that's kind of neat. Yeah, it's like a hero clicks thing. I still honestly have no idea how to play hero clicks. Like literally. No idea. I've never played it, but this makes me want to play Hero Clicks. This is I like this. This is really cool, and it also comes with this monstrosity. I don't even know what it is. What is it? Can somebody let me know in the comments below? What do I do with it? What does it do? I know that this fits on there, but but what does it do though? Somebody please tell me what it does. It looks like it takes batteries, which it does. But then how do I make it do what it's supposed to do? I don't I don't get it. I don't know. I don't get it. I'll have to do some research on it, but I mean, if nothing else, it's a pretty cool looking Superman pedestal statue I can use in a set or something like that. Hmm. Okay, so here now we have all of the Dollarama loot swag in one convenient location for you to look at and go, why are you showing me this? Because I'm a DC guy and I get excited when I find DC stuff almost everywhere. We got the book, we got the Superman hero clicks, we got the pen, the pad, and the three little spinny guys whose heads fly off. Not to mention, we also got the Ninja Turtle, which is not actually DC stuff, so it's not officially in the video. But that's my loot haul. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate you taking the time to do so. If you liked the video, please slap a like on it so I know you liked it. If you think you'd like to see more of the kind of content that I produce on this channel, don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button. Leave a, leave a comment down below so I can hear what you have to say, because I like hearing from you. And I'll see you next time with the next video. Toodaloo!